Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Sunflower Sims here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my newly built AR house tour. So this is my first time using AR, so it's not the best, but in my next videos, I will try to see if I can make it better. It's really hard though. So basically this house is, it's kind of like a two-person house. as a garden in the front, as you guys just saw, and sorry for the lag here, but I kind of like to call my mini garden house and then I also built this house with a lot of pine furniture because I felt like that contrasted well with the with all the plants so we have some succulents some cactuses sunflowers some other flowers some trellises planters and then also some vineyard hedges so we also have some wildflower beds over here a plant vase hanging plants and then yeah that's it so we go into our living room area and then I have this couch over here, this vine decoration, some cute cushions, and then I have this coffee table over here. Oops, sorry about this. And then that takes us into this, um, the projector and then this partition. And then this fireplace along with the super aesthetic painting that I really liked. Thought it matched like the whole flowers theme and then this rustic light. So that takes us into the kitchen. I have a herb garden over here, and then some kitchen decorations like lemonade, and then a toaster, um, and then like a blender and stuff, and a coffee machine, and then like a stove and microwave, and then of course like a sink and an oven, and then a sunflower because I felt like it matched. And then we had this is like the dining area since this is a place where only two college students to live in. This is just their mini dining area, and then a little pantry, and then some other drinks. So that takes us into like this large supply closet slash laundry room. So we have some garden supplies, um, we have a vacuum, we have a laundry board, or sorry, an ironing board, and then they have a pet, so they have some food and water. Then you have some cabinets, um, we have a pet bed and a pet bath, and then I really like this carpet over here, and of course the laundry machines. So then on the outside we have this park bench, this colorful birdhouse, and then, yeah, and because these people are zero waste, I didn't include a trash bin. They only have compost and recycle. So that takes us over here onto the other side of the house. So we have a pine outdoor cafe table. I actually put it the wrong way, so the sim isn't able to access it, but if you switch it around, they will be able to access it. And then I have this greenhouse. I really love this greenhouse. I think it looks super cool. Especially in AR mode, you can actually go through the windows and see it really up close. And then you have this tree and then um, a gardening patch and then some daisies and then some planter boxes and a pool. I know the background looks kind of weird. Sorry about that, but it, it was the one that worked best with the AR mode. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the first floor. So to go up to second floor, we have to go on these stairs over here and that leads to a balcony. So on this balcony, I have some white hanging plants and then some fairy lights which I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on. They look better in the night. And then we go over to this room, this mezzanine room. So we have some vines, a planter box, a pine boho shelf, but I didn't, there aren't really any books in that, just like decorations mainly. And then this plant over here. And then we go over to this um, sleeping room. So we have a wheel decoration, which I thought looked really nice. And then um, a bunk bed. And then we also have a clothing place and then we have a pine nightstand and then our fuzzy carpet and then i really love these salt lamps i think they look super aesthetic and then a nice wind view through this window of the pool and the plants so we have this white macarma hanging and then this is a mezzanine room so we go into our bathroom as you can see it has a vanity desk which is kind of weird in the bathroom but there wasn't really another place to put it so i just kept it there we have a sink some cacti we have a toilet and then we have a fan and a carpet fan because it gets kind of small in there and then also we have a bath and then I chose the sink because I had like that plant already there so all I had to do was just add a toothbrush canister and then there were some drawers down there and then it has some decorations so then we go over into this room so because these are college students they obviously need to do their homework so this is like kind of like a study room for them so we go over into here you have two computers we have this bookshelf and then some pine stuff now I know the Neo Tokyo update came out a really long time ago, but I felt like it looked super cool like with the moving lights and all. And then some bookshelves, I mean some books and some magazines. And I love these computers, I think 
it looks super nice with like the plant and the camera as well and then this carpet sorry about that so and then we have this little bookshelf over, bookshelf over here i love the decorations i think they look super like modern and then this plant painting over here then we have some shoe shelves and some bag cabinets and yeah that's pretty much it for the second floor and then it's the same way same thing as the first floor you have to go up to the balcony and then you go up these stairs and that takes us up to this balcony over here so as you can see i have some solar panels over here because they're trying to conserve energy a carpet and a hammock where they can just you know relax and then we have this hot tub over here so i really like this marble design i think it looks super sleek and nice and then a cushion area just to relax a picnic place with like a little plant box and then a grill and a cabinet and then the clothes hanging area so that it, they can use it, their space um a bird bath which doesn't actually work unfortunately and then a little water fountain if you saw it there or not a water fountain a little bath so yeah that's pretty much it for this house i really love this house i think it's kind of a, it's really aesthetic and it's a super cool place to live in so thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends if you feel like it and please comment down below anything else you'd like to see i definitely want to produce content that you guys enjoy thanks for watching